Hey Nerdy Knitters, in this video we're looking at the Pearl Front Back or the PFB Increase. We'll work the increase and I'll show you how to balance it if you're adding increases across the row of knitting. And also I'll show you how to work the PFB F increase at the end, so stick around for that. If you want to jump to any point in the video, use the timestamp links in the video description box down below. Let's look at the pearl front and back. It's worked on the pearl row, obviously, or if you have textured patterns and you're working with increases in a pearl stitch. But if we were working them on a wrong side row in stockinette fabric, this is what it would look like on the front. And there's the column where we worked the increase stitches in. And each increase puts this little bar so it's also known as a bar increase because of that. All right, I'm going to work it right in this stitch. So to purl front and back, we start by purling, insert, wrap. We purled that stitch, but I'm not gonna drop this stitch from the needle. Instead, I'm going to purl it through the back loop. So I'm going to turn my work, and you can see the legs of this stitch. There's the right, the right legs in the front, left legs in the back. I want to insert this way and purl that leg of the stitch. And now I can drop it off the needle. And you can see by doing that extra stitch, it puts this little bar right there that we'll see on the front of the work. So let's purl across the row and we'll see what that looks like on the other side and we'll work it again. Right there is where we added our increase. You can see the little bar. And there's that increase row right there. Let's work that again. All right, I want to work it right here in this stitch. Bring my yarn forward because I'm purling. I will purl into the right leg of the stitch. Then I turn my work. And you can see right here, there's the front leg we just worked. There's that back leg. I need to bring my needle around and insert it behind, bringing it behind into the front. Wrap my yarn, pull it through and now I can take that stitch off. I've turned one stitch into two stitches. That's an important distinction for this increase. It's not worked between stitches like a make one. It's worked into a stitch. And that does make a difference in your fabric. Let's look at that example. Get a bit nerdy with our knitting right here. If a pattern tells us to increase after every five stitches. If we were going to work a make one, which is worked between the stitches, we would work our five stitches, increase, work five, increase, and that would balance that pattern. But if we, if the pattern doesn't specify which increase to use, and we decide to use our purl front and back if we're working on a purl row, so we, we follow what it says. We work five stitches, increase, work five stitches, increase, and we do that. You can see that it isn't balanced because that PFB is worked into a stitch and not between, a, between the stitches like a make one is. So when you're working into that stitch, it actually offsets that pattern. So we have to remember if we're swapping or if it's not telling us, we actually have to work that increase into that fifth stitch. If it says increase after every five stitches, if we decide to replace that with a PFB, we'd want to work that increase into that fifth stitch and that helps balance it across the row. Now let's do one more thing. What if you wanted to work an extra increase? We can take that PFB and turn it into a PFBF. So let me get to where we need to be and I'll show you how to work that. And it starts out the same. Our yarn is in the front. We purl into that front leg. We turn our work just a little purl through the back leg. And now, when we look at our stitch now, it looks like the left leg's in front and the right leg's in back. If I purl through this right leg again, what I'll get is like a big yarn over on the other side, and I don't want that. So I insert and I knit into this left, or purl into this left leg. And that gives me two stitches. So that is a purl front back front. Hey, if you like to get a bit nerdy with your knitting, click the subscribe button down below.